It's Speedback Gaming. Welcome back to my Nordic Empire, which started out as Germany, then Denmark, then Scandinavia, and now we're here. And the USA has declared war on Germany, which they are our puppets, so in that case, we are end up being at war with the United States. Uh, which is in the Allies. We, they're all going to declare war on me any day now. So, what is the solution to this, you say? How do I get out of this predicament? Because this is pretty much going to turn into a world conquest. How do I prevent that from happening? Hmm? How do I prevent that from happening? There is one way of doing it. Front lines are so annoying. There we go. I'm going to go here. There is one way of doing it. Get rid of you. Germany would like to send us some uh, guns. Nice. There is one way of doing it. And uh, you guys aren't going to like it. So, let's be real right now. This has gone from making the Nordic Empire to pretty much a world conquest. I can't see anyone, everyone I'm at war with for some reason. I don't know why. There you go. They've all joined now. They've joined. As of joined. There you go. Look, so look, this is pretty much a world conquest now. The only ones we're not going to be at war with be Japan, China, Italy, and some of the South Americas. So, I don't want to do that, because that's going to drag on for another five episodes. And I know you guys don't want to see that, okay? Because that's on my series. If you look at my back catalogue of playlists, you can find me doing that a thousand times, okay? So, I want to do something a bit different to make things quite spicy. Okay? Question would be, what are you going to do with it? Very good question. See that in a very second. Right now, I need political power. Lots and lots of political power. And we can do the uh, a little another exploit just to uh, top it off. No, we're not done with exploits yet. We'll just have a, a few more, right? Never have enough exploits, right? This is a slightly lesser known exploit. It's um. It's kind of dirty in a way, and I don't know how this is going to turn out, so this may actually be kind of cool. We'll see how things go. It looks like they've invaded Germany. Germany has now been completely demolished. You guys are retreating. Guns are finished now. Uh, go for night attack. Assault rifles. Guns. Good. All right, we have 150 political power. Now we can say to ourselves, we have made a mistake. Fascism was not the correct path. The Nordic Empire needs to be a democratic institution and we must turn on the true enemy, which is the Soviet Union. And how do we do that, you say? How do you do that, we say? With a democratic reform. That is how we do it. Oh my God, look at all that war propaganda. Holy crap. Oh, boy. Railroad guys, you guys are like taking an absolute sweet time to get out of the front line. What the? Alright, so you guys are going to defend here. You guys are going to defend here. You guys are going to hold Baltic. They're probably going to land into Norway at some point, but I have to make do with what we've got. Doing too well with air control, but once again, making do with what we've got. Alright! You guys here and here. You guys stay here though. Good. Alright. So now we need more political power, sadly. Getting 2.9 a day, which is pretty good. The Yalta Conference. <laughs> okay. That's going to be a little bit weird, but okay. Uh, not really much of a journey to put much of a fight though, right? <laughs> They uh, instantly died. Completely reperinoed. F in the chat, boys. So now I need political power to prepare for the civil war. Alright, working on all these boys. Really want to get Leningrad back, don't they? 
How much, um... Oh my god, 8%. Norwegian Sea. Oh, they're, they're grabbing the islands. Okay, I'm alright with that. I'm okay with that. You grab my islands. And right now, we currently have 12% democracy, so we can fire a civil war. We just need more political power to actually fire it. I think we're going to need 100 in total. So we prepare for it. And then we ignite it. Oh, we can't ignite it because we we've got too much stability. So we are going to have to wait. Oh my god, this is going to be a bit of a ball. Really? You're breaking through here? Oh no, we're holding now. That's good. Uh, do you know what, actually? I suppose we'd be better off having the, the Air Force here. No way. One close air support. Uh, oh. They're going to break here, aren't they? Taking a lot of damage, though. They'll keep cycling. Oh, look at all those heavy fighters. They're all the allies, too. We're never going to be able to build a fort here. And they're going to break this. I've got to ask the question here. Am I better off holding on to here? I am. But duh, duh, duh. Get out of here. This is the only bit we have to hold on to, right? No, this is the only one we have to hold on to. And they're going to have to pass over a straight too, so I doubt they'll be able to do that with ease. We can ambush it too. We can hold this. Good. Take two divisions off because we're low manpower again. How's the east doing? Ooh, running into a few problems. Oh, democratic. Oh, nice stability reduction. Nice. So, let's see what we can do. So, this is 30 days and per week. So that's 28 days. So, that's 3, 6, 9, 12 stability reduction. Yeah, let's do that. It's only 25 as well. We might have to do anti-raids too. But they cost 50, so I'm not sure if I want to do that. So, the Norway. Now, that's not good. Oh, it's 12 troops! Oh no! Uh, that's a lot of troops, boys. Are we going to have enough time to survive? Now oh, they're never going to break that. Damage. Oh, they're not getting a straight penalty. I say that, they're never going to break it, and then it turns red, and I'm like, gasp. How come they're not getting penalties for the straight? Is this not considered a straight? Wow, I didn't know that. So they're technically just pushing into planes here. Wow. Pretty scary. I hope they... Have they run away? They may have run away there. I hope they have. Fly them in Germany and there is no Germany. Germany is just a construct in our mind. Okay, we're going to back off from here. I'm going to try again here. Now, is this considered a straight? Are we going to have to hold on to Copenhagen? Uh, I really hope not. See, it's not considered a straight again. Am I going mad? Have they changed the way this works? Holy crap, boys. We're going to have to hold on to Copenhagen. I can't even believe it. We'll build the fort up first. And that way we don't have to turn around. All right, we're holding here pretty good, though, which is good. All right. And... Ah, oh, we've got a lot of political power now, but... I think we're just going to have to fire another extended civil support again. 
and that will drop us below the requirement to oh no go away on oh we need one more tick and then we're done and then france has landed in the north too still holding oh i don't know about holding Here, you go here, you go here. A big stack of troops there, isn't it? And the whole stack's been wiped. No. Come on, 50%! There we go. Ignite. The Civil War. And you guys are probably thinking right now, what is this going to do, Dave? What have you just done? What? Okay, we are gonna go. My god, they control a lot of land. We're gonna have to push and be a very aggressive. We're gonna grab all our air force too and pop it onto you. So they want us to join the allies, we're gonna agree, but we can't let them join the war. Because if they join the war, they'll be a they'll have their hand in the peace conference and they'll create some wonky frickin' borders. For the sake of the borders. Okay, they've been given this. Oh, Poland's been given that. I wonder if they're going to have a say in the peace conference, though. No. That's the biggest, another concern of mine. I wonder if they're going to be able to say anything in the peace conference, whether... I don't know. We'll see. <clears throat> Alright, you guys move into position. Start creeping on Stockholm. Hard time producing anything at the moment. Uh, I guess we should try and make a, as much as the, as many of these as we can, just to fill out the front line because it's a very wide front line. Um, I think I want to go for convoy raiding. Oh, it looks like we're uh, imagined to uh, be aggressive with me. I need to make sure I micro this really well, because otherwise we're going to run into a lot of problems. It looks like that we've managed to get an advantage against them, because we were already pushing them back quite aggressively. I'm kind of worried about the southern flank though. Ah oh, no, they already are in the war, so this is going to create the most awful borders ever. Ah oh, no. <laughs> are you ready for the most worst, the most awful borders in existence, guys? Are you ready? Oh boy. So, if you want to guys want to know what I'm, I've done right now, or attempted to do, is when you fire a civil war, it white pieces everyone you're at war with. Which I say white pieces, but evidently it's not. So, maybe I'm wrong about this one. No. Hmm, I think we're better off sitting on the manpower. How many divisions do they have? They have 29 max, and we have 31. Okay, so we do have more divisions than them. Artillery is maxed down, that's good. Good! Where do you think you're going, my dude? Okay. 90% towards capitulation. Now go here, then you go here. 
don't think it's going to be possible that I can just jump for victory points to end this. That's not going to stop me from trying. Okay, so... All divisions... Apart from three... Take care of this. Alright, good. Ooh, there's a few more divisions here than I expected. Another one. Damn, man! I'm wondering, like, why are these divisions so strong? Oh yeah, because I made these divisions. These are my divisions. The air control is helping though. Guys. No! What are you doing here? Go. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Gauging the UK? We're not at war with the UK, are we? No. Oh my god, that maybe we can jump for victory points then. On here, is this a... That's only one victory point. No, maybe not actually. It's going to be a combination of taking lots of land and taking all the victory points. Four percent. We have 91 percent of the participation. There you go. Do they even have a capital anymore? I don't think so. Yeah, we just need to gobble the land up now. Ninety-five, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, one hundred. Oh no, we did it! And there's no peace conference. Okay. So, seeing as we've got a little bit of time left over, I thought I'd show you something kind of interesting. So that's kind of cool. There you go, guys. I just showed you an exploit there. So I white peaced out, and I got all my country back. So now I'm no longer at war with the Soviet Union, and I'm no longer at war with the Allies. Yay! Unfortunately, I've lost my German puppet, but... Unfortunately, you do lose all your puppets with that method, so that's pretty cool. So if you guys would like me to continue this and continue from this point on, please let me know. that would be really awesome. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this series. Uh, don't forget to like and to subscribe. And uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah, if you guys are very loud in the comments, I mean literally very loud, I want you to spam the comments and say continue this. I want to hear you, see you join the Allies and beat up the Soviet Union. If you guys are down for that, you know what? You know what? You know what? I'm down for that as well. Let me know in the comments below. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Goodbye.